Hello everyone, this is Skip Farr from Hard Dollar Corporation. This session I'd like to talk about uh, Hard Dollar's relationship to Primavera. I'm actually using Primavera version P6, version 7. Essentially, from our perspective, we're allowing you to take the cost items that you set up in the uh, CBS register, decide which ones you want, send them out to Primavera so we can set up the data for you. So our main objective is to set up that information in Primavera so you may continue to use Primavera for its scheduling purposes, logic links, and uh, further functions that Primavera has. We like to send over additional data besides the cost items and their durations, which I'll get to just shortly. I'm going to use my training job. I've already clicked on it, so I've opened it up. I'm going to go to the Job Properties form. On the Job Properties form, there's the Schedule tab. Of course, this is where you decide which system you want to use, either Microsoft Project or Primavera. I'm going to quickly go through these tabs. This one here has to uh, mean that when you want to roll up the cost items, and you want to send out a level 1 or a level 2 instead of all the subordinates, which duration would you want us to use? So we can add those subordinates durations up or use the longest. We can send a lot of additional information out to Primavera that we cannot do from project. So here's some options. We use our position code. This is normally what we would use from the CBS uh, coding structure. Or if Primavera, we create a schedule ID. This is an alphanumeric field, which the user can change. But this will sort more uh, quickly and uh, more efficiently how Primavera usually does their sort. We can send the whole structure out to Primavera, meaning what they call their WBS activities, or the WBS elements, I should say, which is our superiors. What they call activities is what we would call our terminals. So this option says, I just want to send the terminals, or what they would call their activities. We'll send resources out. So we'll set up the resources from Hard Dollar into Primavera's data database. You can send resources as roles or resource. So for your labor, equipment, or rented, you may use a role. So Primavera has the ability to have a role, which is a higher level description of a particular resource. If you want the rates to go over, the actual unit rates of your resources, that's what this is doing. This up here decides on how you want to come up with the budgeted unit cost for hard dollar based on the plug duration, which you can change, or the actual duration, the work hours that come from the estimate. If you set up account codes in hard dollar, we'll send those out to the resources if you, if you want. There are other costs also that hard dollar has that aren't always from a resource. You may plug, you may have some quotes, you may have some uh, ad hoc entries. Well, we'll set those up. Primvera has a ability to have a field or a section that they call expenses. So we'll send those additional dollars out as expenses if you want to, so the Primvera has the total cost. Actual. In hard dollar, you can set up a percent complete. In other words, on our job tracking, we know what the percent complete is based on your quantities. We'll send that out to Primavera if you want. Hard dollar has tags and user defined fields. We can map those to Primavera's activities if you want to. So it's a lot of information we can set up in you for you for Primavera. I've already gone out to the Primavera. I'm going to go back to the CVS register quickly. I've got the schedule view. This column tells you what items you do want to schedule. If you want to roll up to a certain levels, you may. What hard dollar calls their superior is what Primavera calls their WBS element. So this is strictly information. This is the schedule ID that you may use for ordering Primavera's items. Hard dollar creates these. You can change these if you want, but it's an alphanumeric field. Plug days are the days that came from the estimate. These check marks allow you to enter a duration that's different than the estimate. So I could decide that I want to use a different duration in Primavera, click the box, put my own duration in, 
and that's what Primavera will use for its duration. These start dates and finish dates that we have here, these will come back from the schedule. In addition to the dates coming back, if you had in fact changed the duration of the cost item activity in Primavera, you will be asked if you want that same duration to update hard dollar, yes or no. So again, we're simply saying, you know, since these are the items that you schedule, which ones do you want to set up? You want to send additional information like resources and cost? You can certainly do that. So by already open up Primavera, I'm going to go to it, and this is the job that I sent out. So here's the cost items. Here's that schedule ID. I got some additional columns here for the labor hours and the costs and uh, you know start dates and so forth. Of course, if I were using this in the real process, once I have my activities in Primavera, then I, of course, make my logic links to create my schedule. I send out the resources, so here's some equipment and labor that were sent out, their cost, their price per unit, the hours, and so forth. So each activity, cost down from hard dollars perspective, will send the resources. If you had sent expenses, we would have explained or displayed the expenses here. We also send out hard dollars calendar. Specifically, what hard dollar does, it sends out the hours because hard dollars calendar and Primverse calendar don't always exactly meet. In fact, uh, hard dollar has the ability to have shifts and so many shifts per day. Primvera just has hours per day. So we send ours out, but you can change this per activity if you want to, to use a different shift to come up with the hours and the total days that you would want to generate based on a different shift than what hard dollar used. So effectively, if you want, we've sent this out. You may save this information. You may open up Primavera independently of hard dollar. You don't have to be connected. If you are, you add cost items in hard order, we'll add them in the schedule for you. You make changes, we can update those uh, changes for you. So effectively, we're simply helping you get a complete schedule without having to manually set up all this information. I'll go back into hard dollar. Currently, to get out to Primavera, you would simply say open. It opens up Primavera. The update hard dollar from Primavera brings the dates back. Update Primavera from hard dollar will update the labor unit costs and the rates. The resync is all those other switches on the job properties forum schedule tab. So there's some options for some updates that make sure that you're connected with Prim Primavera. Well, that's all I want to say about this on Primavera. I appreciate your attention and thank you very much.